Hi guys, Nick here, and I just got back from visiting my friends and family in my hometown for Memorial Day weekend, and I was gifted a few plants, so that was wonderful because I went to a plant nursery and I wanted to buy some plants, but a lot going on, so I didn't, and then I was gifted some, so it's fantastic. So I'm just gonna share some of them with you right now. So there are only four plants in total, uh, so it's a little bit of a mini plant haul today, but I'm just so excited about these. I went to visit my friend Sam's house, and her mom is a very big houseplant enthusiast, and so she couldn't let me leave without giving me a few plants, and I'm just so excited about them. So the first one is this Sansevieria. Uh, I believe this is Sansevieria trifasciata. It's got this absolutely stunning yellow variegation. I've never seen it this intense. It's just beautiful. This is a smaller one, she gave me two, you'll see the next one in a second, but this is just absolutely stunning with its little yellow variegation. These plants are super easy, they don't like a lot of water, they can withstand low amounts of light, so I just absolutely love any kind of plant that I know I'm going to bring into my home and it's going to survive. And the best thing about these, if you do overwater it and it does lose all its roots, you can just put it in a jar of water and within a month or two it'll put off roots again and you can put it right back in soil. This is the other Sansevieria that came from the plant. She said that she was given this like one that was in this big of a pot and it had at least seven plants in it. She separated them. Two were this big, so she gave me one of them. I'm absolutely in love. And she even gave me some terracotta pots to go along with all of them. I do need to clean all the white off of them with some rubbing alcohol or bleach, but that's another thing for another day. But this is just absolutely beautiful. It does, for the little bird's nest pattern, if you can see, it goes kind of around in a circle. So I love that about this. And it's quite striking with its yellow variegation. Not as intense as the other one, but some of the leaves do have some of this beautiful uh, yellow tint to them. So I just absolutely love that. Super easy plant, super low maintenance, a very popular one too. So if you guys do see these around, I definitely recommend picking them up because they're popular for a reason, because they are just so resilient. So this is the last one from my friend Sam's mom, and this one is absolutely amazing. I, backstory, I saw this one when I was at her house, and I was like, oh my god, do you think that she'll give me a cutting of this? Like, I've been wanting one of these for so long, and I asked her mom, and she was like, just take the whole thing, and I like didn't want to do it, but I just, I couldn't turn it down. So it is an epiphyllum. I forget what kind it is. I'll let you guys know in a second. I uh, contacted a, a local epiphyllum collector in Philadelphia, and she was had a hunch that it's something. I'll look it up right now. Give me one second. Okay, so she thinks it's an epiphyllum German empress, and we're not sure about that. We won't know until it flowers, but you know, at least she's staring me in the right direction. So we can just assume it's that for right now, but it's absolutely beautiful. I believe the common name for this is an orchid cactus, and it does bloom out of these little, you can kind of see these little like white areas right here on the edge. I believe that's where the blooms come out of, but I don't think this one's going to bloom anytime soon. But it's just absolutely beautiful. I definitely want to take some cuttings of this because it's just got so much on it. And yeah, beautiful plant. Quite a rare plant, actually. These are pretty hard to find, so I'm super excited to score this, especially for free. Oh my gosh. Ah, so beautiful. So this last plant from my little plant haul today is from my good friend Sarah. She was actually one of my old roommates, and you might have heard me talk about her in the past because she is the person who actually got me into house plants a few years ago. And we lived together a few years ago, and you can just imagine how our house just exploded into a little jungle. So the plant that she gave me, well actually, so I went to her house, and she has this big banana tree, and it was putting off babies, so we were repotting it into a bigger pot, and she gave me one of the babies. It's not very much right now, it's quite small. Actually, I'm not even sure if this is gonna live because while we were uh, propagating the babies, we actually snapped this one in half. We taped it back together. I heard you can do that, it might not survive, but I figured it's worth a try. But it's just so cute and dainty, I just can't wait to see if it grows or not. And if it doesn't grow, it's not a big deal, but I just wanted to share with you guys this beautiful little banana tree that Sarah gave me. And hers is massive, I wish I took a big uh, picture of it to save because it's absolutely huge, at least as tall as me. So super excited to show you guys that in the future. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my little plant haul today. I know it's not as big as impressive as my other ones, but I'm absolutely psyched about these plants, specifically this epiphyllum. Oh my goodness, my first epiphytic cacti. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video next week. Bye, and follow me on Philly Foliage on Instagram.